Well, I do believe it's uh, 12 o'clock. Is it 12 o'clock mm -hmm. already? Yeah. Time once again for a Fido, Fido live stream 14. 14. Mm -hmm. That glove. So I have all these 14, 14 weeks. Wow. <laughs> Weird, huh? Yeah. So the current storyline, mm -hmm. uh, Fido is um, trying to publicize his theory on how bad cats are. So of course, he's 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 looking for attention. Well, yes, because he wants to get the word, so to speak. Speaking of uh, looking for attention. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what happened to Van Gogh's sunflowers? Um, no. What happened to Van Gogh's sunflowers? Well, um, some environmental group trying to get attention to their cause threw soup at it. Okay, wait. Threw soup? Why soup? Well, um, the best I can figure... Well, if it was an Andy Warhol, it would make sense. But no, no, this yeah, is exactly. yeah. <laughs> Campbell's Soup. All right, you got me there. But, um, well, apparently they've, um, the same group, they're like, Just Stop Oil, I think they call themselves. I'm not sure. But they've, but they've, they, they've attacked uh, the Hay Wayne, uh, John Constable in Germany. They've attacked uh, other stuff in Florence and the Vatican. Uh, they've been gluing themselves to the picture frames. Yeah, they're gluing them, and, and in this case, the uh, two young ladies actually tried to glue themselves to the wall after throwing the soup at Van Gogh. But I'd like to assure everyone that sunflowers is absolutely fine. <laughs> I've got it right here. You do. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely fine. It looks, it looks perfect. Let's get this into frame. It looks perfect. Yes, 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 yes. So those those scallywags did not damage it whatsoever. That's one of my favorite pieces, actually. Mm. I, like, I like some more. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Now, see, they um they used Heinz tomato soup, where, you know, uh, for the art world, more classically, it should have been Campbell's. I only have Progresso, which is a better soup. Don't you dare! <laughs> now, uh, Don't you the the Heinz soup they used in the um, in the in, in the gallery had the pull top, much like the uh, Progresso does here. I mean, could you imagine them inside the museum with a can opener, trying to trying to trying to trying to, trying to open up the thing? <laughs> but so I think Heinz has to take part of the blame because they had the easy pull tab. Um, oh. Soup. Hmm. Remember, people, soup doesn't hurt paintings. People hurt paintings. Now, my question here is, um, if you do something foolish, will it convince people to believe in your foolish message? I'm going to say no, hmm. but that's just the way I'm wired. How do you open these things without spilling them? Don't <laughs> don't you freaking do Oh no, look, no, no, no. I'm I'm not going to damage any art here. See? Um yeah. I'm gonna get the comic strip out of the way first. Oh, oh, don't oh don't you yeah. Here we go. Get the get the comic strip out of the way first. We don't want to damage any art. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> this is my protest movement. <laughs> and also probably the end of your marriage. <laughs> You're not gonna do it, are you? Are you really gonna do it? Are you real are you really gonna do it? <laughs> you no. No. You know, after pouring the uh, soup on the painting. Uh, they yell something about British people not being able to heat up their soups 
Well, if you get rid of the oil and gasoline, how do you want them to heat the soups up? A, 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 a charcoal? Fire? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> a, little, a little fireplace cauldron. Mm. You know, Whoa. You know um, I have a Chekhov's gun situation here. <laughs> I've already opened the can of tomato soup, and I've got the painting here. <laughs> and you have, and, but the other factor is you have a wife in the corner who's telling you to not do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. <sighs> Where were we? <laughs> we were in a loving marriage. That is, is still a loving marriage. I'm going to re reset to the camera again. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll read this one to you. We've got a typical cellar dweller here. Is this the Fido Institute for Advanced Canid Studies? Uh, yes, it is. How may I help you? This is International Press Unlimited. I'm doing di due diligence on the source of a story. Is it true that more cat owners suffer depression than dog owners? Yes, absolutely. And he's at his stand. He's got the sign. Get rid of your cat. It'll mix the sign over the cat. And <laughs> whereas it used to say the dog is in, and now it cross out the doctor, D-O-K-T-O-R. The doctor is in. Oh. <clears throat> so the uh, the Fido Institute for Advanced Canid Studies. Oh, I like it. I, um, I'm thinking of some sort of joke whereby he's uh, thinking about pouring soup on a uh, painting, but he makes the mistake of going to a modern art museum. Oh. I know where it's going. I like it. Yeah. Uh, like no one no one would notice is the, is the joke, of course, mm -hmm. but but being a fan myself of modern art, I feel like I'm uh letting the side down. But I the, the whole reason for the message behind modern art is kind of over now. Uh, they yeah. did it as a reaction against fascist art and against a lot of stuck-up society. I mean, these artists were completely capable of producing classical art, as it were, but they chose to do something better, something different, and it turned into just any hack who could splash paint on a canvas was suddenly an artist. You get a lot of that hotel art and bad doctor's office art now out of it. So, beating up on modern art would be passe. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past them, though. <laughs> Get it past. <laughs> so, uh, next, and I've already beaten up on the internet media. This is the uh, drive by media. <clears throat> we have a, in the shadows all the cameramen and the writers and I. And, Background here. This is this is the news show. A big smiley face. It's ten minutes to the hour, and our next guest is Dr. Fido from the Institute of Advanced Canid Studies. Doctor, recent studies point to the fact that cat owners suffer from more depression than dog owners. Is that due to the brain parasite Toxoplasma gondii? No, it's just because cats stink. Fascinating. Uh, thank you for joining us on this morning's show. Next up, Chef Bay shows us her secret nonstick microwave bunt cake. Fido's taking off. Oh, got some word balloon work to do here this morning. As I try to look through the camera. So if you already know my writing style, I take a particular idea and then I run them through all the characters. As each character has a different point of view, mm -hmm. the humor comes in their reaction and their point of view. Yeah, 
Yeah, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got them, and they all stink. I'm going to do that without smearing. No, not smearing. It's not supporting my wrist, so it's all shaky. Uh, okay. I assume they still do these um, network broadcast morning shows like this. I haven't seen one in years. Talking about like the Today Show. Oh, like they still have all of those. CBS This yeah. Morning or whatever. I don't even yeah. know what they're called anymore. But they do. Oh, there's still a Today Show. There's still a CBS. They generally take over Times Square in New York for them. Yep. They're still all there, honey. Okay. Same ones you, you've known for years. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. Huh? As a keen observer of pop culture, I think I probably should watch them more often. But I don't. So therefore, I don't think pop culture watches them either. Okay. That's my own uh, arrogance there. Mm -hmm. They still do, though. So. Oh. I do admit to a bit of uh, schadenfreude in that um, Matt Lauer got me too <laughs> yeah, that was delicious. <clears throat> okay, uh, there's another one in the ser same series. Uh, you really can't see much of this, but Fido's at his stand. You'll get rid of your cat sign covered over his homework eating sign. And this is his customer. Will the old COVID mask work against this cat disease? You know, make me feel not make me not feel depressed. The more, of your, the more of your face that you cover, the happier I'll be. Gee, thanks for the advice, Fido. That's Dr. Fido pointing at his sign. Let's put this up. That requires penciling. So we have anything here that requires inking? Um, this is a big one panel one. Uh, Felicia's caught, caught herself a bird. Fido's over here with his golf club destroying another TV. I think that makes 68 TVs. I'm not sure. I haven't kept count. If all dogs go to heaven, I'm not sure I want to go there. Don't worry about it. And we also have uh, this laying down the alley. I can already tell by looking at this. I've drawn Felicia too tall. She'd be, uh, she'd be that tall to fight up. So, yeah, she'd be this big. So I got to redraw her. Uh -huh. That's something we can do today. Do you have a cloud watch? That one looks like an airplane. It is an airplane. H how about that one? It looks like a street light. You mean the street light? That low one over there? The awning? It's tough to cloud watch in the city. No, oh, I think actually I have to uh, I gotta put away the brush. Let's do some. Yeah. I, can do some oops, I keep on keep on hitting book over here with the, with the wet brush brush strokes let's get done as much as possible with the brush before we what no erasing today uh no no there's no well, well there's nothing that's made it to that point oh, okay i don't know if you can see it well, that's a one day. pair right there that's That's sticking up. <laughs> uh. You just uh, do the horizontal lines in the background here. In the foreground. Yeah, just about time to retire this brush. Oh, yeah, the brush is coming. Yeah, I can't wait.
This one's at the end of its career. I've literally worn it down. Speaking of um, pop culture, uh -huh. did you hear that Bob Kraft got married? No. Yeah, Bob Kraft got married. He's 81. Uh huh. And, um, you know, famously he had, he had a wife for several years in the past, but then famously he had a girlfriend who was <clears throat> much younger than she was. I mean, than he is. Uh huh. Um, is, that, is that who we married? No, that was Ricky Noel or something like that. Or Ricky. <clears throat> Okay, okay, now don't don't reveal yet. He's also has famously been visiting um, uh, massage parlors ah. and getting happy endings. Ah. So uh, is his new wife named Ming Li or something like that? No. Oh, shucks. <laughs> no. Um, that's, well, you know, he's he's smart enough. I, I think Ricky is. He's 81 now, and Ricky, I want to say, right now is probably like 40. Okay, so she was that much younger than he was when they were dating. Like, I, I, I think the way the math goes is you uh, cut your age in half and then add eight years. So if he's 81, he should be dating, let's say, 48 year old woman. How old is this woman? Well, this is what I was going to say. He's, he's actually moved um, into something a little bit more um, contemporary. She's 47. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, right on. Mm -hmm. I I think he I think he purposefully did the math. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's eighty-seven. He's eighty. Tom Brady and company. Uh, Tom Brady went to the wedding alone. No Giselle. Oh. I know that's kind of sad. Poor Tom had to go stag. The guy just couldn't get a date. I know. He's I just know. he's <laughs> just not he's just not handsome or rich enough. He just couldn't couldn't get a date. Hmm. Elton John was at the wedding. Ed Sheeran was at the wedding. Of course, his new bride asks, who's Elton John? <laughs> she knew Sharon, Sharon, though, but she knew Elton John. Are you serious? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be worse, I guess. It could be going with like a 10 year old or a 30 year old, at least. Yeah, you know, at least these are established. Although actually, Rick, his last girlfriend was in her thirties when he was dating her. Mm -hmm. I don't think they broke up that long ago. This must be like a uh, this this one got him down the aisle. Mm -hmm. The other one didn't get him down the aisle, so I don't know what this one's got on him. Steve Martin had a joke in one of his films uh, where he's trying to um, date a younger woman. Younger woman says, "Do you like smashing pumpkins?" He, he says, "I love doing that." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tom Brady. You know, I think they're accusing him of cheating again. Did they accuse him of cheating before? Uh, with the deflated footballs, apparently. Oh, 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 I thought you meant cheating. <laughs> I thought you meant cheating on Giselle. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know one way or the other there. And, and they, they, they're kind of quiet for a couple, um, to be honest with you. They don't talk about that kind of thing. Yeah. So who gets their real estate empire? I do not know. Oh, John, John Bond Bailey was at the wedding, too. What, did they leave the uh, the door locked at the nursing home? <laughs> That's very wrong, but very funny. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own joke. What do you got? Uh -huh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this one's going to be fantastic. So, so stay, so stay tuned. If if she ever gets this one out, 
I guarantee you it's going to be a belly laugh. Please. Please, don't worry, me. I had a senior citizen table and a kid's table for her friends. Uh-huh. They served a kid's meal. No, that was it. That's the whole oh. thing. Just the kid's, kid's table. At her table, they served nuggets. Yeah. Kid's table at the way. It was a whole joke that made me laugh. Uh, okay. <sighs> Gator is coming to the table. Did you, did you want a little soft bite meal or a kitty meal? The Sorry. soft bite meal, that'd be for dentures, or the kitty meal, which would be for people who are very picky about what they eat, such as chicken nuggets and such. Yes, hamburgers. Kitty meals for kids, for children. Ah, indeed, yeah. <laughs> this 47 year old woman. I know. It's sad, uh, I know. But it's making me. Older than you. It's making me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're so adorable, honey. Thank you. So, would you marry Bob Kraft? I don't know. I have to. I don't know him. Like, I don't know his. Uh, he looks like he has a fun personality, but. Ah. Uh, so, so, so you're looking for the fun personality type, not the security. Well, I mean, you have to be happy. I mean, the money would make you happy. It would be nice if the guy made you happy also. No, I've been wondering uh, that about that. Uh, the battle between um, security and lust. Because obviously you're not lusting after Mr. Kraft. He's not someone who's uh, lusty. Well, they um, Whereby Tom Brady would be the entire package. He's hunky and wealthy. True. Not my type of man, actually, Mr. Brady. No, he's not. I've Something never, I've never true. been, I've never been into the jocks. Oh, okay. You're more of the intellectual. Uh, yes, yes. I'd have to be able to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, sure Tom and I couldn't really have a decent conversation about anything. See now. <laughs> I think um, Bob Kraft would actually be able to talk with. Probably, he, he's, he's a, he, a businessman. He's, yeah, he's done something with his life, so he might he might have some interesting stories about life. Right, exactly. And he's lived a long time. Yes. <laughs> Uh, one of my early dating problems. I dated a woman who um, English wasn't her first language, so conversation was a little stinted that way. You know, good looking, yeah. good looking otherwise, mm -hmm. but um, just just wouldn't work out. I can appreciate that. I've, I've got to be able to talk to you. I can appreciate that. Mm. All right, let's get that edge of the table. Then we'll, we'll call this one just about done. So should, should be fairly simple for the colors to, to do this one. All right, let's put that aside. And cheers. Uh, today we're today we're enjoying enjoying a fine German uh, beer. Mm -hmm. You know um, something to respect about the Germans. It's against the law in their country to make bad beer. That is something to respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got their priorities in order. Yeah, they let Vlad fool him over the whole uh, oil pipeline thing, but. 
Oh, well. Oh, speaking of which, um, the... <laughs> okay, bear with me here. The, the Swedish, <laughs> the, the people from Sweden mm -hmm. are saying that using some top secret um, mechanical devices, I guess is the best word I can use for it, they have determined that it was the Russians who blew up their own pipeline. Interesting take. Now, they can't show us their work because, well, this is top secret. So you just have to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> just take our word for it. Wait, 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 wait. Why would we lie to you, wink, wink, nudge, nudge? Well, they're not, no, they're, they're, the thing they're being, not lying, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, I don't think they're lying. But I don't think the Russians destroyed their own pipeline either. <laughs> well, I told you my theory, so, you know. That's your theory. I told you, I think that the Russians are doing a lot of this. Or I do think the Russians are doing a lot of this. Oh, okay. Because I think that he's trying to uh, make it look like he's losing. He, he's trying to make it look like he's not losing to the Ukraine because he's inferior, but because they're really good or it's trying to look, make it look like it's more of a i don't know well i'd say either way it's making his uh his weapons uh, industry look uh less than well it's it, it's less than flattering for his weapons industry true very mm -hmm. true yeah. but, but all of this has been less than less than flattering to him what third world dictator is going to buy a russian tank now it's just what third world dictator is going to use him as any kind of a, a, a gauge as to how to engage in these kind of wars or these kind of events? I, I, I still stand by my original thing. I, I'm afraid this, this ends only one way. I know. You shouldn't say those things out loud. No, I'm not going to yell, obviously, yeah. He, he, he tried to start a war of conquest in the 21st century. We're, we're, we're beyond we're beyond wars of conquest now. Everyone is kind of everyone's kind of settled into where they're going to live, and you're not going to be able to overthrow and steal everything they own You're right. anymore. You're right. Uh, I've got a snow globe and one of those uh, mannequins on a stand books over here. I think I've got to clarify them a little bit better before I ink them. So let's just do the straight lines here. I'll have to go back to this later on. It's a little uh, mini fridge mm -hmm. where uh, the re representative from the uh, international press unlimited keeps his beer cold. Ah. You need something like that. Well, uh, yeah, you know, he's in mom's basement. <laughs> you don't have to so it's go it's yes, it's too much trouble to go upstairs, and mom doesn't like it when he keeps all that all his beer in her refrigerator. So it's a win win. Right. Get the lettering out of the way here, the sign. And I'll let it all dry because I don't want to schmear. Schmear. Isn't this great? Every day as a cartoonist is better than the day before. Anybody want any tomato soup? <laughs> email, uh, email here at, at, at uh, fightofthecomicstrip.com and the uh, and the chief uh, colorist will, will will send you a can of tomato soup. <laughs> that can. Well, this can's open. 
I'll have to put I'll have to put it inside a Ziploc bag if you if you want this can. Also, you know, let them know that <laughs> if they'd like an original piece of art. Nah, I don't want that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's all your fault if um, if if uh, Fight of the Comic Strip doesn't get its proper promotion for pouring tomato soup on uh, Van Gogh's sunflowers. It's your fault. You stopped me. That's, uh, let's ignore the I, the uh, let's ignore the practice of proper rush care because this one's just about dead. And carry on with the world. Hey, look what we got here. We have a black wing. <sighs> Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. And they're just gorgeous. They finally came in the mail. Black wings were used by award-winning creators throughout the 20th century. Despite a cult following, they fell victim to cost-cutting measures in the 1990s and were discontinued, but not forgotten. Analog-minded devotees paying as much as $40 for a single pencil. Wow. <sighs> began paying for as much as one. We acquired the brand in 2010 and brought Blackwing back for a growing culture of artists, musicians, and everyday people looking to unplug and live mindfully? What? <laughs> okay. They lost me in the last sentence. <laughs> uh, crafted with California. I don't know. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this comic strip mindfully. Yeah, that's... Okay. <laughs> That's, that's... Sales benefit music and arts programs in schools. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> so you, I have Felicia here. Let's see if all doors open. Let's see. Let's draw her eyes a little bit bigger. Let's get a bit more of a expression going on here. Small mouth. She's got a pigeon here by the neck. I assume she just pulled out of the open window there. Big day for motorcycles, as you just heard. <laughs> So you can hear the birds singing quietly in the background. Yes, just stop oil. So we don't have to listen to motorcycles like that. <laughs> Feathers. Around all of those. We'll handle that later.
So what kind of stupid, foolish publicity stunt can Fido pull? Mm. Mm. Right, I'll take that for now. Um, that's where in the writing here. I've got to do a Friday one in this series where uh, he's uh, doing the whole uh, anti-cat thing. And currently, the way the writing was going, yeah, get the sketchbook over here. Currently, the way the writing was going, I'm saying, uh, "Are you sad and depressed? Do you want a cat? Well, there's your problem." Okay. And that's the joke we're going to try to use. So now I'm trying to fit that into what characters do we use? And oh well, let's let's do the Fido fans, the the women who hang out in the bar. Dino is constantly getting rejected from. I need a bigger drafting board. Uh, let's use the Fido fans, the women that he's. So he'd be talking to the women, and. Uh, one of them says, wow, but I don't own a cat. You want one? I didn't like that joke. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, whatever. So um, instead, we'll have... Anyone remember Rita that Dino was dating a couple weeks ago? Rita's sitting in the bar looking depressed. And Fido says, uh, here, take this cat home. Rita says, how is that going to cheer me up? Fido says, just think how happy you'll be when you finally get rid of it. So we're doing something on the basis of that joke with Rita rather than the Fido fans. Let's, uh, let's clean up this mess. Yeah. Crap falling all over the table. Okay. Gravity, take care of this book for me. Okay. I need a bigger drafting board. <laughs> oh goodness! And I've run in there. Well, then we then we need a bigger uh, studio. It just snowballs. <laughs> Something she's noticed. I've uh, moved the drafting board about six inches uh, that way, which <laughs> which then pushed the couch six inches uh, that way. And she said. She just noticed when she tried to turn on a light switch. Wait a oh, minute. I, I, I noticed a little while ago, but I thought maybe it was me not able to reach it or something. And I kept saying, why is that harder to reach? Why is that harder to reach? <laughs> I'm and like I, a disease. I just grow slowly. <laughs> then I finally figured it out. Or I finally asked, and I was like, um, honey, did you move the couch over? <laughs> And in fact, he had moved the couch over so that he could move his uh, scratching board, which is fine. I have no problem with that. As a certain German chancellor said in the 40s, I need more breathing space. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Once again, this has all gone to Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not forget the man bun yeah, nothing is more manly than a bun of hair on the back of your head yeah, just ask them all they'll tell you I uh, noticed that a lot more people are wearing vests these days in the supermarket yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Generally look at people to, uh, <laughs> to, to come up with mocking ways to mock them on the comic strip. 
So besides the man buns and the vests, I try to feel like I'm on that cutting edge, as it were, of societal evolution. I wonder if the camera actually picks up the singing birds in the background. Good. Good question. I can hear them over here, so. Hmm. Maybe. Our online friends pointed out that you know don't, don't, there does not seem to be very many birds in China. <laughs> they killed them all. <laughs> Whenever a government gets together and says, let's do this, it's always a bad idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the China columns came up with the idea of, well, Mao came up with the idea of killing sparrows because they may or may not eat food that humans could eat. So we're um, hmm. considering them guilty before? Or... Oh, birds. <laughs> yeah, we considered they, they are. They had considered the, the birds guilty enough for a death penalty, yeah. But I am not going to criticize the chai comms. I'm going to take the uh, Elon Musk route. Uh, Elon has recently uh, praised China and said that they should take over the uh, little island of Taiwan and uh, just run it like they ran, uh, you know, like a separate uh, autonomous state and allowed them to, you know, have freedom just like they did in a few of their other uh, more successful areas. And the Chinese promptly forgave Elon a lot of his taxes. <laughs> Funny how things like that work. That's not treasonous whatsoever. <laughs> There you go. You can have that. You can have that sunflower painting back. <laughs> How'd you know that was what I was coming over for? I would not have destroyed it because it's not a real painting. I no. would have poured the the tomato um, soup on it and then just wiped it off. It would have been fine. It would not have been fine. It but now the joke the simple. joke has been killed, so we're, we're done. <laughs> it's all right. Don't be angry with I'm not angry with you. It, it, it's done. You, the joke's been killed. <laughs> I should have poured it fast. He who hesitates is lost. What? He who hesitates is lost anyway. Well, you don't want to get to know if he's in a chicken suit. You always use the gum. Nah, it's okay. It was it was meant as a joke anyway. I, all of us, of course, are mystified as to how pissing off half, a majority of the world by defacing a, a beloved piece of artwork is going to get anyone to listen to you. I know. It's crazy. It just makes you people pissed off. I don't know. 
We, we, we have art in this world to make us happy. We don't need you assholes to make us unhappy. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to your bullshit theories of the, of, on the environment now, especially that you piss me off. And don't even bother in the comments. I'm not going to argue man's, man's uh, effect on the environment which I'll say is insignificant. So, like I was saying, it's in the 60s out there today. <laughs> Lots of motorcycles you can hear out there. Whenever the colorist starts talking about the weather, she thinks I'm getting into a topic that might get me canceled, so she wants me to stop talking about it. And in parts of America, if you do say the wrong thing, your freedom of speech is taken away from you. That's a little frightening that you said in parts of America. Uh, yeah, well, 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 because I'm an American and I can criticize America. Mm -hmm. Now, if I were a well citizen of, let's say, China, I would want to criticize China. But I don't really care about China. <laughs> <laughs> And I hope the Chinese don't take offense with that. But there's nothing I can do or say that will make things better or worse in China. Okay. So I hope the Chai Coms leave me alone. And I'll just I'll just mock their math skills. <laughs> <laughs> And planning for the future in private over here in America. <laughs> so, uh, once since we're on the topic, uh, Revolution Watch. The countries that we were watching, of course, um, I, I almost said Soviet Union, but <laughs> Russia. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they, they want to be the Soviet yeah. Union. <laughs> <laughs> Russia, Iran, Italy, and, of course, China, communist China. Everything's going great in the other China. Uh, recently, the, um, la the lovely ladies of Iran have done a have uh, thrown another protest. They don't want to wear the burqa, but they're all identically dressed in their purple and black burqas because they make fantastic disguises oh. in their latest protests march. There's a. Uh, Protest against uh, Chairman Xi himself in China. There is. Yes, yes, yes. It, it's not quite like Tiananmen Square yet in that they haven't rolled the tanks down the street. But I saw... Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw them uh, hanging signs off bridges and yelling and screaming. They're, they're all kind of upset with uh, uh, companies like Evergrande. Um, it's a building company that ran away with their money, and did not build their sky, their glass box apartment in the sky. <clears throat> and Chinese banks are having trouble as well. All, all linked, of course, to the failure of the communist system. All right, let's see. Uh, my left arm hurts. I, uh, okay. Well, I lean on this left arm, some, usually, especially when I'm on camera here, so I can look around the camera. And it's just uh, left arm on the, on the armrest of the chair here. Uh, causes a lot of stress. 
Uh, it's, it's so hard being a but cartoon. That's also the, that, it's gotta be pumping iron. Um, yes. It's so hard being a cartoonist. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let me get this chair adjusted and, uh, it's thirsty work too. <clears throat> All right, uh, we already discussed that we want to, that Felicia's too big here. We want to bring her down to size. Now, uh, I think it's good that this sort of all overlapping, let's do Fido again. Of course, so we'll have him as a scale. Uh, he'll be looking up. We'll do a small mouth. I'm actually going to make Fido smaller, too. So all that gets erased. Oh, yeah, I might as well just erase Felicia completely here. Because that's, she looks much bigger now. And I made Fido smaller. So three toes, like every good dinosaur. All right, if Fido was that small up there, then Felicia can't be much bigger than that. So we'll put her head about right there, long neck, torso. And feet and feet. And I originally just wanted this foot to overlap Fido's foot there. As it's important that they're close. <laughs> <laughs> and she's staring up at the sky. that again. Move back this way. Then we can get the look as if it's a smile on her face. It's very hard to put a smile on Felicia. Well, you've been very successful putting a smile on my face. Yeah, but you're not a cat. True. Uh, well, let's see. How does she size out now? She'd be about that big. And the final stand. Yeah, okay. That's about... That feels better. Now, uh, we zoom in a little bit in this frame so we can make them bigger. But I still think she's too big. We'll do the same thing again. Is that a... Uh... I feel like that's uh, racist, not racist, um, sizes. I still feel like she's too big. Well, who are you going to judge her body? Yeah. Well, um, I'm, I've got to do a believable scale. Mm. And a lot of it's just feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Just tiny drops of water. Feelings in my... Uh, okay. This is Fido's face. And now his shoulders would be up here now rather than down there. Okay, so I'm going to do it again anytime. I might as well erase everything now. You know what's going to happen. <laughs> I was oh, hoping no, to... I thought, you were, I thought you didn't have to erase today. Yeah. I, I, I was hoping to keep some of this in here as a guideline. I can already tell that I'm just going to end up redrawing everything. All right, let's see. Fido's there. Arms are much too long now. Now, I want him to, I mean, the street light. So he's doing that. Um, 
have him move his feet a bit to the car there. Three toes like any good dinosaur. Three. And his tail. Have him shift so we get to see his tail. In this panel, you really can't see his tail because it's behind him. Now, Fleischer has scooted up here. She was laying flat, now she's <clears throat> now uh, that I've <clears throat> redrawn them small though like this, we're gonna have a problem in that there's gonna be some blank space over here. But I love blank space. You do? Well, yeah, because that gives me an opportunity to do a visual joke. Ah. Now, um, the visual joke I've already done, you can probably hardly see, is that in the background here, this is Fido's stand, and he's got his customer service stick that's uh, hanging on a couple of hooks behind the, behind the stand, his golf club. Mm -hmm. So, um, what else would be behind here? Um, their inventory. So I've got plenty of room over here to 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 play with what their inventory would be. Oh, we've got Felicia's tail in this one. Let's see, where would the tail be? About there. Then when she gets up, she rips, whips the tail around with her. So we got uh, one leg here, one leg there, and there's her feces. But Now she looks too small. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's much too small to the Fido Fire. Hmm. Let's try that again. Goldilocks and some. Yes. Okay. Well, it's an opportunity to make the legs larger. neck okay that's better that looks closer to her size All right, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> now, in the third panel, the camera is zoomed in more, so the character is getting larger. And actually, this is the only panel where it looks like they're in the proper proportions. She is in front, so she can be a little bit larger, but she's good. So that one I really don't have to monkey with too much. And neither that one. So... All right, repair work done. <clears throat> We're not going to quite do an intermission, but a brief break to ponder. Life, liberty, and happiness. Yeah, that. As long as we still have all three. Is somebody yelling? 
Yes. That is an example of one of the beautiful women of the city. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, great the city is that it has such wonderful people in it. It looks like she's upset with her boyfriend or significant other. And she uh, is telling him in uh, animated terms about her displeasure. She's letting it be known. Yes, yes. See, it's good to not keep it bundled up. Keep it bundled up, then, you know. Young, just... young love. What young can love. I say? Ah, uh, young love. All right. Now that we're burning a sacrifice to the gods of tobacco, uh, enjoying a German beer. Maybe a little bit more ceremonial than if it's a, you know, burning to the sacrifice. Uh, just gonna stop sure, whatever. <coughs> Brain gone. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm, not bad. Very tasty. Uh. <laughs> I've got this, uh, I've got this muffler in the back of my car that's about the size of a can of Progresso tomato basil soup <laughs> so that I can make that noise. You would think with a bigger exhaust, they'd be quieter. No, they're subverting expectations. And also, they just want you to know that they are wrong. <laughs> well, let's see how that abused brush that I didn't clean is behaving. Brushes are on the way. Just have to be patient. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's not like in the old days when it was six to eight weeks mm -hmm. <laughs> to get something delivered. Mr. Bezos, <laughs> stop making bad TV shows and just deliver me my paintbrushes. Focus. Focus on what you're good at, Mr. Bezos. You know, what's what's kind of funny is, um, yes, Bezos um, did this horrible thing to, to Tolkien. Mm -hmm. But I don't have the bad will with uh, Bezos and Amazon that I have with Disney for what they did to Star Wars. Because Amazon still provides <laughs> um, a useful service. <laughs> They, they really did not have to spend the money. I would have still kept Prime because I want the shipping. Yep. <laughs> they really they really don't have to create original programming. No, well, they really don't. They thought they had to, to compete, but, yeah. you know, maybe they were trying to get it under, you know, into a paywall, like, not included with Prime. You have to pay extra, but that's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah, Disney should get rid of its streaming service. And I predict they will. Um, uh, yeah. I don't know, though. I think these streaming services are just going to continue on for a while, even if they're not doing all that well. Majority of the time, we're watching YouTube. Don't know what that says for any of the streaming services. Although I watch a good amount of TikTok. 
Surprising, yeah. Yeah, surprisingly. I know it's a strange saying this about a network, but really, Peacock is punching above its weight in the streaming service battle uh, war zone. But after all these years, they're like one of the few services that actually know how to make television shows. That's it. Well, they've run a network or something. That's the beginning. Mm -hmm. Amazon simply doesn't know how to make a TV show yet, and neither does Disney. Hey, I have an excuse. <laughs> I'm always <coughs> I couldn't even get that sentence out. I'm always <coughs> 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 you, you okay over there? <laughs> Hours of silence punctuated by coughing. <laughs> Who or does gold. who who doesn't um, burn uh, 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 effigies to the tobacco gods? So I have no idea why she's coughing. <laughs> well, of course, Charles, you don't understand. It's secondhand smoke. So I don't know if you can not see this, Chief Colorist, but our customer here is wearing rubber gloves. We're back to the COVID okay. restrictions. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I think I would figure that one out. Yeah. If people realize just how dangerous cats are, we would go back to COVID restrictions. The cat brain parasite, as you all know, well, has they been. they didn't know. They know now. <laughs> has been linked to schizophrenia and depression. And if you uh, get it anywhere near your impregnated wife, it causes birth defects. I think that there's a new theory on that. I think that they don't see the. Yes, quite as uh, blasphemer. You're just going to ignore the science, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just saying, I think that the, the medical research on that has shifted a bit. Denier, you're a cat denier, aren't you? No, I believe in cats, I <laughs> believe they exist. <laughs> I mean, how many cans of tomato soup do I have to do I have to pour out here to get you to listen to me about cats? <laughs> uh, gee, I don't know. Let's say thirty-six. Ironically, the uh, uh, I don't know if it's ironically, the 
peep, the young ladies who poured the tomato soup on the sunflower painting, they were not aware of, well, they obviously didn't go to art school because the painting to the left next to the sunflowers was worth 10 times more. <laughs> they should have got that painting. <laughs> well, it wasn't about, uh, you know, wealth, honey. It wasn't about obsessing wealth. It was just about gaining uh, a, an audience. Yeah, that's it. it uh, people were saying, uh, uh, how did they get by museum security? Listen, anyone can get by museum security. I was at uh, the, uh, this Harvard uh, art museum and they had a Bauhaus chair sitting on exhibit. And uh, I was sitting in the chair looking at the art. I was a little bit tired until the guard, uh, a, a sheikh came up, German and all great people, the sheikhs, as opposed to other people around the, from that part of the world, but he, uh, he was up. He was a little. He was a little upset with me for sitting on the artwork, <laughs> which I had honestly not realized was artwork. I thought it was a chair. <laughs> I mean, sure, you had to go through you know five velvet ropes and you know <laughs> take the tape off the chair. But I will. Ar I will argue that those vel <laughs> that those velvet ropes could very easily have been. <laughs> Enjoy. I will argue that I did not see those velvet ropes. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know it was a piece of art. I thought they just had the spotlight on there so that people would feel good about themselves when they sat down. It looked like one of those cheap metal chairs made out of the um uh, the the the, the uh, aluminum tubing that, oh, really? that 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 you'd see in like Mary Tyler Moore's house. And again, like I said, I thought that the spotlights were just to make somebody feel good when they sat down. And um, you know, I was there with with a, a bunch of people from the art school, and the teacher said, "Was it a comfortable chair?" <laughs> I said, "Actually, no, it wasn't." <laughs> I really wish they put more comfortable chairs down here. Well, it, it was just leather, um, leather. Straps over um, oh, yeah. bent, bent, bent aluminum stock. <laughs> I think part of the reason why they didn't want anyone sitting in the chair is well, you might break it. Yeah. That chair is made for looking at, not for sitting on. That's the criticism I've had with Frank Lloyd Wright. He makes the most uncomfortable furniture in the world. Yeah, you're not supposed to live in Frank Lloyd Wright's houses either, because the roofs leak. <laughs> well, great architecture doesn't have to have an unleaky roof. So after the Sikh guard uh, tried not to murder me with his knife, all, all Sikhs have to carry knives, part of their religion. Uh, I was able to uh, continue my tour of the Harvey Museum of Modern Art. Uneventfully. Sorry about the uh, pause there and do a little bit of thinking here. 
<coughs> is uh okay. Sometimes cartooning requires thought, deep thought. Excuse me. Mm. This brush is uh, this brush is not doing its job. See how thick and sloppy the lines are? I just can't get a point on it anymore. Okay, choose your weapon. They all look kind of rough. This one looks the best. Splatters of ink. Now, whatever you do, don't touch those because they'll smear. See? <laughs> it's only a little smear. Again, I can I can re um, I can readdress the situation. Why don't cartoonists use markers? And we do for signing our name and writing notes. We don't use them to draw a comic strip because you have no control. I have a brush that I can't get a point on. I can throw it away. Friggin' marker. You have no control over. It's not a real tool. Baggy pants. What'd you call them? I called you baggy pants. <laughs> I'll show you. You're not wearing pants. I am not wearing pants, no. That's right, I'm still in a nightgown. It's a sunny afternoon. Got a problem with that? Don't bring up her Boston accent. <laughs> my husband experienced the full Boston accent when I went on a rant the other day on my way home for somewhere. <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh, I went on the rant of them. Uh, I don't know. I yeah, on. yeah, no problem. Save it. <sighs> ah. See? 
Only a little schmear. I'll argue that I did that one on purpose. All right, it's about that time. Let's see, where are my post-it notes? I need another beer. Ah, okay. So, to the final audience, I don't know if this has been explained before, but the way the um, final verse over there is arranged. I can't see what he's doing when he's drawing and coloring and, I mean, well, I color, when he's drawing and erasing and all that stuff. So this is actually all new to me. <laughs> I'm watching with you guys and learning with you guys how this all happens. Of course, I'm impressed, but that's because I'm biased. You want me to rehang the Van Gogh in the kitchen? I'd love it if you rehung the Van Gogh in the kitchen. <laughs> that would be great, honey. You know how you have you said art makes people smile? Yeah. When I go past that and see it, I that makes me smile. I like it. So <laughs> Uh, well, how y'all doing? Just teaching you. Now remember. Friends, don't let friends cartoon drunk. <laughs> Actually, before there's a <laughs> before there's a real disaster over here, I gotta get rid of this. <laughs> I gotta get rid of the tomato soup. <laughs> oh, uh, that's probably a good idea. No, eventually I'm going to dip a brush into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let's clean up a little bit around here. And you get the opportunity to see everything there is in the, in this skirt. I've got to cut some paper. Isn't that exciting? Well, actually, I don't. Actually, I don't have to cut some paper. I got one right here. Got two right here. There we go. No cutting necessary today. Get that out of the way. Back in the paper storage section of the studio. Always put the bottle back on your ink, too. Oh. Find the factory edge. Yeah, that's the factory edge on the bottom. Hope you remember this. This is the Comics Calibre. I'm gonna put a glove on again just to keep things a little clean.
cartoonists are notoriously dirty people. Dirty. I think it's not like we have other dirty habits like smoking. Dirty, filthy cartoonists. We're notorious for that. Brief re, uh, refresher here, the comics calibrator. This helps me uh, make the panels. Each of my panels is four and nine sixteenths wide by five and thirteen sixteenths height. Using imperial measurements because, well, there are two types of people in this world. Those who use metric and those who have walked on the moon. The edge is a good straight line for making panels. And I have these notches there and there, which, oops, if I keep my pencil in there, <laughs> allow me to, yeah. Real professional there. Uh, back in the old days, I'd get out the ruler, have to measure each thing, and took a lot more time. If you're going to be punching these things out as quickly as I do, you need every shortcut you can get. Remember, you got to draw one of these every day for the rest of your life. Yeah. You have to write something funny and dr draw it out. Why the, why the hell isn't this thing cooperating today? Oh, because the, the camera is in my way, mm -hmm. interfering with the proper sliding of the comics calibrator. Usually this goes much much more smoothly. I have this darn camera stand down here is in the way. All right, let's put the calibrator back on. Actually, no, I still need to. Along the edge here, I have these little tick marks for the lettering. Now, which... I allowed gravity to keep an eye on the book for me. Uh, which one are we doing? You know, I remember that joke about the nuts in his drawers. Uh, yeah, we're doing the uh, fight over the woman and it's a Friday. So we got to do a bar joke. And I haven't really written the exact script yet. So what we got? Sharpen pencil. All right, let's see. Uh, four panels. We all, all we know is the last panel is going to be uh, just think how happy you'll be when you finally get rid of it. And third panel will be how is that going to cheer me up? And here, here, take this guy. Uh, all right. So we need an we need we need an opener. Uh, I will fight saying something to the effect of, I don't like seeing you depressed like this, Rita. Here, take this cat home. How's that going to cheer me up? Just think about how happy you'll be when you finally get rid of it. Okay. Well, uh, So uh, the important part of the dialogue is that uh, Fido says looking. He says, I don't like seeing you looking so depressed, Rita. If you read between the lines, you get just how uncaring an animal he is.
and let's dig out the rolling ruler, otherwise known as a parallel glider. These little rubber things on each wheel allow a parallel line to be achieved. The magic of science. Science, 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 science. It's and science. Of course, the stand is in my way. Usually, I use the base here to, to tell me where where uh, straight is, but now I got to use the top panel here because the camera base is in the way. Um. I don't like seeing you look. I don't like seeing you looking. Okay, three lines. I'm going to estimate for Fido's opening. One line. Two lines. Three. Three lines. <laughs> and um, here. Take this here, take this cat home. Okay, probably get that down in two lines. How is that going to cheer me up? Let's do that in three lines just so we can. And since she's she's on the right, we'll do the titles on the left. Because the person on the left always talks first in the comic strip. A really old joke I wrote there. <clears throat> no one got it. Just think of how happy you will be. It looks like that's this is gonna be four lines for the punch line uh make sure that's level actually while i'm at it do a definitive line for the top panel all right camera shaking shaking one two <coughs> three I'm oh, sorry. Two lines. Three lines and done. Now, my uh, lettering is on a 22 and a half degree angle. That's why I have these things here, which I carefully measured out with a protractor at 22 and a half degrees. Why 22 and a half degrees? Because it makes me happy. And why are we doing all of this? Because it makes me happy. There you go. It could be 22 degrees, but 22 degrees would not make me happy. There's actually a golden ratio story behind it, but I'm not going to bring that up now. There's a secret, secret Freemason uh, storyline behind why I'm oh, doing this. God. Yes, I, 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 I really can't reveal all the secrets. No. But the angle is 22 and a half degrees, and, the, and 22 and a half degrees shall be the angle. And the angle? Mm -hmm. Shall yes. be 22 and a half degrees. <coughs> all right. So. I don't like, I don't like seeing you, I don't like seeing you looking depressed. Wait, okay, so depressed reader will be in the final line. I don't like him. So I don't like seeing you looking so depressed. Okay. Do a little, little bit of planning out in the spacing of the lettering so I can try at least to center things, center justification. In the old days, I would just type all this out on the computer and trace it. And the computer would give me perfect letter centering. And it's a D-O-N apostrophe T, dummy. It would give me proper lettering centering. But I do it all freehand now.
and I don't think I have room for seeing SEEI unless I hyphenate it. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna need. Change of plans. Since I plan on putting Fido on the left anyway, I can push his text over to the left. Looks like I'm going to have to clean this up a bit. I'm going to get rid of the word looking after all. It just didn't fit. Oh, well. So only you at home will know that the original dialogue was, I don't like seeing you looking so depressed, Rita. And I got rid of the word looking because it was just too wordy. Here, take this cat home. Now, the potential here for a visual joke would be to have um, Felicia tied up in a Hannibal Lecter style on a on, on like a dolly. That's how you give someone a cat tied up like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I may or may not use that. whether Felicia is in on this or not. I think it'd be funnier if she wasn't in on it. Okay. So she's sitting there like, okay, take this cat home. And cats, I don't think it, I don't think it'd be funny. That Fido would be handing out cats in a bar. Can only be funnier if it's if he's doing it against the cat's will. Are so going to cheer me up and just think of how happy you'll be when you finally get rid of it. A cat is always an it. That all, all that littering worked out pretty well. And 
Last but not least, the signature. Does anyone else find that music embarrassing? I know what you mean by embarrassing. But it's racially embarrassing. I, I, I feel bad for these people. They're putting out a horrible stereotype. All right. But they must be really proud of their music because they want everybody to hear it. <clears throat> Let me think. <clears throat> all right. All right, all right, all right. What are we going to do next? Well, I could do the layout on this, but um, it's so damn faint, you're not going to see a thing at home. <clears throat> Let's see how we have to hour forty two minutes. Uh, this could use some inking, uh, and this could use some erasing, but I'm not gonna. I will not do that with an eraser for at least another twenty four hours. Lace, less, less I smear. Uh, next one. Okay, need a little bit more inking in the background here. I can do the. I wanted to clarify what we have going on here. Uh, I know what they look like, but let's reference it anyway. You know those. Um, those wooden artists, models, mannequins. Oh, here are the uh, here are the young ladies who have glued themselves to the wall under Van Gogh's painting. Let's see if we can get a. See if we can get a, yeah. Just stop it. You know, um, we 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 thought that perhaps they were uh, uh, just stop oil when they were criticizing oil. Maybe they were upset that it was an oil painting. But, um, yeah, the, there's, the, uh, there's the opinion that, that they should have got. But. I wonder how many that petrochemicals like, she has in her hair. That looks like an oh, uncomfortable <laughs> like position. Yeah, like, no. Why wouldn't they glue themselves like, in a more comfortable position so that it could, I guess, yeah. because they're moderating themselves? I yeah, yeah, it. yeah, whatever. All right, let's go to uh, Google. Uh, not that. Get me out of here. Okay, I literally cannot get out of this story. They literally will not let me out of the story. Well, that's not good. Hmm. I mean, they have to just... I cannot use that Google search. So, let's see. Artist model. <laughs> so, we normally speak of how... Uh, there we go. ...big our windows are and how much light they let mm -hmm. in. But it's actually quite tough over here in my little area. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's what we're looking for. It is just a... Let's see, I would have made a mistake on the head. It is just a... Uh, oh, it's just a round head. Just a, whoops. Yeah, we do. Amazing how extremely unhelpful. I, I, I've seen these in art school. Amazing how extremely unhelpful these little mannequins are for uh, drawing the human body. <laughs> mm 
Okay, that's good enough. Now, I don't think I need to reference a snow globe. And he's literate, so he's got a book. All right. So refrigerators full of beer and one pound of butter. <laughs> So just like your idea with refrigerator. <laughs> or pretty much anybody's idea with refrigerator. In typical Fido beer, always has a square label and a round label up top. It's the only beer in this universe. Mm -hmm. It's called square label beer, right? There's something on the top shelf here that's on its side, probably a can of uh, sardines. Okay. He puts his sardines in the refrigerator. <coughs> All right. Now, his desk is entirely too clean and neat. It should be covered in papers. I know that. And since I've already drawn the backgrounds, I've got to be careful. And we'll have little doodads and stuff on the desk. I'm sure he's got action figures and toys. Usually they usually they put those on the walls, don't they? Still in still in the packages. <laughs> paper back there. How about a Rubik's cube? Yeah. Good going, you slop artist. If anything in this friggin' thing needs perspective, it's a goddamn Rubik's Cube. Here's my vanishing point. One, two, three, and... Okay, I guess he's got the jumbo size Rubik's Cube, huh? They have those. Yeah. No. Well, he doesn't. Not anymore. Oh, no. And I've done so many erasures, even I can't see the desk anymore. So let's do it again. And since I have in this scene, he only has this. We'll just have that there. Let's put some stuff on the floor.
what else would you have on the floor? How about a mouse trap? We're using a basement. Basements have mice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and all right. Well, since I don't want to open an ink bottle again. Oh, this brush. Oh, this brush needs to be cleaned. Protection against filthy cartoonists. Uh, let's just do, we're going to do a two point, three point, hmm. we're going to do a perspective here or what? Yeah, why not? Okay. Rita's eye level is going to be about up here. So two vanishing points up high. Uh, Bar comes down on that angle. That's the edge. Go that way. I'm going to have to think about the joke here a little bit more because um, Felicia on the Hannibal Lecter like Dolly has to be a surprise. You can't be you can't see that in the first panel. Okay, so wait, this is that's you gotta you see that in the second panel. <laughs> well, actually no, since it's in the second panel it's that's better. I was I thought I had to save that reveal to the last panel. But you saying here take home this cat. So if uh, she is about right there don't forget the breasts. Breasts are very important on a woman. If she's about right there, looking sad, Fido's right here, being as compassionate as possible, paw on the bar, and almost sort of, almost reaching out to touch her shoulder, but not quite because it's personal space, and Fido does not violate personal space. He's a sensitive, millennial kind of dog. And you'll see Felicia's head just sitting here. Now, does she look pissed? Is she looking toward it? No. Felicia's just... Here. She's angry. And you see just a little bit in the background... Of something you don't quite know what it is it's the dolly as is, she's cut off at the neck height so it's not until he wheels her out for the audience to see in this panel we'll have to do a side-on view of the bar you'll see that Felicia's in the it's uh, it's still is tied to the Hannibal Lecter lecture 
No, that's our that's our layout. Uh, what does Rita look like? Pull up, uh, pull down a reference. Magnet. Uh, there she is. She's got a pointy nose. Small pointy nose. You draw her eyes first, and then the glasses. Yeah, it's got one of those sorts of mouths. No chin, but a cheek. And the uh, Sama Hayek hair from Dogma. So who says this strip is not racially diverse? We have a reader. Yeah, I know. Yes. We have a reader. All right, let's put that aside. Get out of the way. You get out of the way. And guess about that height. It's that funky background stained glass. Edge of the bar. Now, uh, next panel, we're going to do a side on of the bar so that Fido can reveal that Felicia is in her thing. So there's the bar. Uh, we're going to do Jane on, uh, sorry, Rita on a stool. So if the stool were there, Rita's butt would be there. And she's turning on a side view, legs. To Fido, who's standing about right here with an angry Felicia tied to a dolly. And from that, which you can't see, you can't see that at all, can you? <laughs> well, that's how the layout's done. Uh, third panel, I guess we can have her standing. I would originally thought that she, that Rita would be on the uh, right-hand side here. That's why I put the lettering to the right. But that's not the way it worked out. Sometimes the best laid plans get changed. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, stick figures, theater here. And Fido's already wheeled Felicia over to her. Looking about as happy and helpful a puppy dog as he can be. In fact, I'm thinking maybe even. We're going to do the waggly tail. Not the waggly tail. The waggly tail. Waggle, waggle, waggle. That's easy. 
happy to present you with this here Mark I cap. Refunds cheerfully taken. Refunds, refunds Sorry, cheerfully, cheerfully taken? Given. <laughs> okay. <laughs> refunds cheerfully given. She's pretty angry. And, you know, I think, I'm thinking we're going to have to do the whole Hannibal Lecter mask. Otherwise, how else? Yeah. Okay. Got to do the whole Hannibal Lecter mask. And in the final panel, <clears throat> just think of how happy you'll be when you finally get rid of it. I guess she actually has possession. Doubtfully, looking down at this creature tied to a dolly. With the waggly tail idol right here. That's about as sloppy a layout as you're going to see. But watch next week how funny that will look. Same time, same station. We start two hour point. It looks like two hours is about what I feel like doing every Sunday. <clears throat> so that, uh, in order to make me happy, it's time to end the broadcast. And everyone wants to make me happy, don't they? That's right. Have a great weekend, everybody. And everybody be happy.